All right, let's play some Space Engineers. Buddy entered your channel. Hello, sir. What up, Spaceman? Not much. About to engineer. Me too. So, uh, I spent a little bit of time in my downtime today uh, finishing re-engineering what I have called the World Eater. <laughs> nice. Um, I did haven't you, tested it yet, though. Did you do that at work? Um, I only... Well, I was... I can't speak. Uh, I was only there for half a day. I was home for the second half of the day. Uh, okay. Does, it, uh, does this run on your work computer? Yeah, it does okay. Uh, it's got a worse graphics card, um, but an SSD. So you mess with the settings a little bit, and the performance works out to be about the same. Yeah. I've got the uh, I've the 750 Ti Super Clock, the, the GTX 750 Ti Super Clock, 5 gig on my home PC, and then I've yeah. got the 2 gig on my work PC. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. But, I was about to. I was thinking you were gonna say the 750 was on your work PC. I was about to be like, oh my god, like <laughs> that's a really good computer. Yeah. Um, actually, I've got an i3 on my work PC, but this pro this game only utilizes two processing cores, so yeah. the i3 is fine there. And then um, I've got an SSD, so that helps a few things. Out oh yeah. Work PC. I used to be able to play some games, but um, that computer I use now is just terrible. And I'm plus I'm like rarely doing office work anymore, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. But we're which 100... is fine with me. <laughs> I like office stuff. I'm not much of a a labor guy. Well, I like aspects of it, but um, in my situation. It's not as great as it could be, so I'd rather just be in the shop making things, listening to podcasts. Right. So what were you saying, though? I was going to say, we're completely out of iron. I ran us 100% out of iron and had to start disassembling pieces to get more iron. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wow, look at that thing. That's, yeah, you're getting the right idea. That's the world eater. So you'll still have to widen the hole out like slightly to get the thrusters down in there, but that's still way better. Let's just take a couple of screenshots of that before I destroy it horribly in an accident. Oh wow, I didn't even see the very top thrusters up there. It's a good idea. Drop the center of mass really low. Yeah, I'm not in creative mode here. I'm like using my jetpack like I have infinite fuel. <clears throat> I saw on the subreddit today that someone figured out that with uh, two hydrogen bottles, you can get to space uh, if you are empty otherwise using your jetpack. Okay. I don't really know how useful that would be, except like, I don't know, if you die and you've got no ship to get back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, because even if you got up there and drilled some things, you couldn't re you couldn't refine anything. So. Yeah, unless you already had like a station up there, then it would be useless to go to space. Yeah, with nothing. Pretty much, I'm gonna be playing this for the rest of the night. I'm recording some footage to try and make another YouTube video, but. We'll see. My last one didn't turn out so great. Three hours of footage netted like 12 minutes worth oh, wow. of usable footage. Just because, especially in the beginning, like there's just like running around. Oh, I'm going to dig a hole with my. Uh, yeah. With my, you know. Mining's pretty camera. boring to watch. All right. So I'm not even going to bother until daytime. I'm just going to leave it sitting there. Yeah. Um, but we have I got to fix my ship. So I can't work on my next project, which is a, a flat landing platform for that thing. 
because <clears throat> yeah, I agree agreed with you. I think last night when you were like, yeah, you probably shouldn't leave that hooked up to the connector after I told you about my physics woes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna yeah, park it on the ground. Safe I'm bet. With it. <clears throat> but I want to put it somewhere level. Because I did hop in it and turn something on earlier when I was messing around, and it toppled over because it was on unlevel ground. Oh wow. Well. <clears throat> I just did a quick a quick load and everything was fine. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure how many drills are there, but there's a lot. We're ready. Yeah, I need to go in creative mode and actually make a ship that can go from the surface to space and just see what it takes. Yeah, I know that we're gonna need a lot of hydrogen. That's the next thing I'm going to start playing with after I build my my base or my little landing platform for that thing. Oh, awesome! Killed by physics. Nice. I was just standing there jumping, and it it killed me and threw me away from the stuff there. <coughs> oh, allergies. And it's been raining nonstop for like three days. And there are some things that can bloom in the cold. And now that they've got moisture, they're blooming. Uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to look at the situation. Is it, uh, has it frozen there yet? No, not yet. We had one or two days where the temperature dropped to the, the 30s. But it didn't stay cold enough long enough for anything to freeze. We might need some more rea uh, refineries. Depends on how fast you want it all to go. We've got three, but there's a huge backlog of resources. It's only going to get worse. Yeah. I don't know. We could just be patient. I don't know. I mean, it all depends how fast we're mining stuff, too. Which, I mean, if you're using that thing successfully, then we're going to need refineries. What what are you working on currently? Uh, I was making that little collector ship, but we don't have iron, so I can't really repair it. <laughs> it was working fine, but I just smashed it down too hard and took a couple pieces off. It was working oh. fine until I broke it. Yep. Yeah, I don't remember what I was doing, but yeah, I just landed a little too hard. Oh, it's when I forgot to switch my camera. I thought I was looking <laughs> through the forward-facing camera, but I was looking at the belly camera. Oh, you know where we can get some iron? Where's that? We could head over to the rover that's buried underground. Okay, where was that? The Two? GPS coordinates that's listed as iron mine entrance. Oh, I hit a tree because my inertial dampener is off. I didn't die, though. There it is. At this point, I don't really care if, if you want to grind it up or if you just want to see if there's any iron lying around. Check it out. I learned from it. It served its purpose. Now it's just keeping the, the dirt company over here. <laughs> I already stripped some parts from it. I got down here with my little miner, uh, the little one and accidentally crashed into the wall and knocked off two of my drills. So I, I borrowed the drills from this one. Is there any uranium in here? There is. I'm going to take that. Four yeah, I was just thinking that. Waste. That um, in the battery, that has some pretty good parts. The cockpit. Uh, I don't know about the wheels. Those probably had a lot of parts, didn't they? I mean, yeah, since they they're do. larger. I mean, I don't know if how far you want to strip it down, but I was just like kind of looking at what was good on it. Might as well just gut it. Yeah. Whoa. Kind of fell apart. I guess that connector was holding some stuff on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's like crucial pieces that you take them out then the whole ship is not the whole thing but 
you gotta do a lot of repairing or rebuilding. The way I see this thing at this point is it's like, even if it's not like a really a, a part that's got lots of stuff in it, we'll still get some stuff. We can always break it. Yeah, I don't need that much. I just have to rebuild an engine and a landing leg, I think. Small, small engine. So I've been working on a thing. I uh, I don't think I told you about the asteroid asteroid base. Um, I found this one. It's just like completely hollow. So I built a base in it with um, a couple like building areas. And I don't know. I just have to figure out what to build in it. Oh, nice! In your single player game. Yeah, it's a creative mode. But I did find out you can switch it to survival. So I'm gonna make like a scenario. Oh, it's about. Chunk of rock that came out and hit me. Did it kill you? No, it just knocked me back. I can't believe it didn't kill yeah. me. But um, it's like 15 kilometers from a pirate base. Yeah. So I'm gonna switch it over at some point. You know, just turn it into a survival scenario. Oh, I have a full inventory. There was a big chunk of ore, iron ore, over here on the ground. Nice. There's eight. 800 more. Alright, hopefully I still have enough fuel to boost up there. Get one shot. Oh, I'm out. Hang on. Huh. Oh, you have a tank? Oh, I'm, I always carry around a couple of spare tanks. Nice. I'm just always scared I'm gonna die and lose it. There you go. Thank you. Oh yeah, I gotta drop something. Uh, drop. They're heavy. Oh, I can't see. Oh, damn it. Clicked the wrong thing and picked up more ore. <laughs> Got it. Alright. Have you looked at the cryo tanks at all? Like no. what those do? They, um, if they're hooked up to oxygen, like a, you know, a constant supply of oxygen, then a player can freeze themselves basically in the multiplayer game, and it saves their inventory and you know all their settings, like their um, their menus, their, you know, the craft menus down at the bottom. Right. And, um, and yours reset every time you leave? Sometimes. This time they saved. But, um, you know, if you have anything in your inventory, then that disappears every time. But it won't if you go in the cryo chamber. That's cool. If you wanted to build a couple, you're more than welcome to. Man, I don't think it's a big deal right now. I need, oops, I just thawed instead of torched. We need to get our resources built up. <laughs> Alright, I think the next thing I need, I'm going to go after once daylight rolls around is iron. We have yep. lots and lots of nickel from my successful first run in the thing yesterday. Um, okay, yeah, I need to get this thing fixed up too so I can pick up your scraps. And we should set iron as the primary thing in the refinery, too, probably. Yeah, yeah it's been... Well, we don't have any iron right now, though, do we? I do. I picked up a big chunk. Oh, okay. Like 9,000 units. Got some scrap. What's up? Go. 
that stuff out of my inventory. Don't need it. I think that um, asteroid base might be a fun thing to do a multiplayer on, you know, with like a bunch of people. Because I'm going to set up like a bunch of different building areas. And then there's, you know, like an actual objective where you can go try to kill the pirates. Yeah, defeat the pirate menace. Yeah. But I got to see how the resources are around it because it might be kind of sparse. Right. But I don't know. That's a, that's a cool little thing for just playing around by myself right now. Yeah, I haven't played on that game, my solo space game, in a couple of days, but I did find one ginormous asteroid that was pretty hollow on the inside. It, it's coated with iron, like the inner, the core is iron. Again of it. Um, but it looks like that's all that's in that asteroid. Which, I mean, all of your early game stuff uses iron, so. Oh yeah, it's an important resource. It's just nice to find your big chunks of it too, so you're not digging up a lot of small deposits. You just get to focus on one big area. Yeah. Whoops, I don't I don't wanna build a hydrogen thruster, I just wanna look at it. Are you gonna be doing using the assembler? Um, as well. I'm building steel plates right now just because I ran them to zero. I was replenishing our stock a little bit, but you're more than welcome to use the assembler. I don't need it for anything. I'm basically just killing time until daylight. Okay, I'm just going to put a couple of things ahead so I can fix my vacuum. mine resources for a little while. Hopefully there's no incidents. Then while everything catches up, I'm going to do some more scouting. Looking for other resource veins. Let's see. Hydrogen thruster. Metal grid. Steel plate. Steel tube. Construction component. Not that expensive, honestly. A lot of metal grids to build a hydrogen thruster. So can you use those in atmosphere and space? Yeah, they use hydrogen as fuel. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but hydrogen. Uh, it's, it's a sci-fi game. Hydrogen That's how space. I look at it. Well, I mean, yes, I, I don't mean like really. I just mean like how it works in the game. Maybe you have oh, to put yeah. oxid attach a hydrogen tank to an oxygen generator and then ice can be pressurized into hydrogen. Yeah, um I actually saw that on one of the beginning easy start stations there's a little factory setup talking about showing the basic setup of how you would make hydrogen to fuel a ship. Okay. Use yeah, just oxygen generators fill, filled with ice. Well, we're gonna need ice. Because they um, they showed like a like basically a station how you could make oxygen for the breathable airtight rooms and produce the hydrogen for fuel. Do you have to use a vent, or just feed a, a hydrogen tank with an oxygen generator? Yeah, just feed it like uh, with the conveyor system. The vent is only for pressurizing rooms. Okay. Pressurizing and depressurizing. Alright, so my next little pet project is going to be I'm going to just build a small hydrogen powered ship and figure out how it works. Yeah, I mean, if you get something where we can get into space, that's going to be a total game changer. And I, I mean, even if it doesn't get a space, just seeing how it works is going to help a lot. 
Yep, I'm gonna try and. Cause try that's and gonna work. be the key. I'm gonna go off at a, not too far away, but just a little far away from our base, and work yeah, on this. Yeah, Cause if I have any more physics accidents, I'd hate to blow up all of our stuff. I mean, you know, we can always just load a game, but that's frustrating. Yeah. All right, here comes daylight. Time to start getting ready. It's bored. Oxygen is on. There's like a checklist oh. I have to go through with this thing. I have action groups set up and all kinds of stuff. I, I just realized I don't have to sit at a control station to control the ship. Like I can just stand here and look at it and control it like a RC car. Oh, that's cool. Which is a little easier because I can have a 3D or a third person perspective if it's close enough to me. Which it, that'll be... That'll help a lot. I'll just actually go to the site and then fly this thing around. 